It is Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. I'm Chris Bremo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Tuesday puzzle today, so we should have another relatively approachable puzzle with a relatively approachable theme, and I can see some circled cells peeking through the gauzy privacy veil today, so that that hints at some sort of theme. And uh, this circle-strewn edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Laura Sexton, Alex, and, as always, the inestimable hood monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shulmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous contributions in supporting this channel and this series. I do very much appreciate it. And if you'd like to join their ranks as benefactors and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or at the link in the description field underneath the video. And if you become a patron at any level, which uh, some of you have done, you can also get all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And thank you to everybody who has done that. I do very much appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the videos. And um, do subscribe to the channel. We are slowly making our way to 10,000 subscribers to this YouTube channel, which is very exciting. I think we still have probably several weeks to go on that. But thank you to everybody who has helped contribute to that total. And finally, you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server, also in a link in the description field underneath the video where you can interact with other members of this community. And now let's solve a crossword, shall we? So this is a Tuesday crossword, of course. It was constructed by Trey Mendez in Trey's debut New York Times uh, construction. So we'll see what he has in store for us today. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Let's start solving. Part of a wooden bench. A wooden bench in particular. Not the seat, I don't know. Michelin rate, okay, well, let's start with an S. Michelin rating unit would be a star. So the Michelin Guide, famously the prestigious French restaurant guide um, that is a division of the tire company. Um, they award stars, one to three stars or zero stars. Okay. Georgia Blank, Atlanta School. I'm guessing Georgia Tech. That's a common, common name for uh, school. <laughs> anyway, uh, princess with a cinnamon buns hairstyle. Princess Leia from Star Wars, uh, famously. And Highway to Hell Rockers. That song is by the band ACDC. So part of a wooden bench, I see a slat, right? So a wooden bench could be constructed of, of slats of wood. That makes sense. And a helper could be an aide. River that Albany and Poughkeepsie are on. Oh, interesting. Um, the something. Well, if it's the something, then this isn't very helpful. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, I'll probably recognize it when I see it, but I'm not sure offhand. Blank Ray, celebrity. Oh, Rachel Ray is a celebrity chef. Is that? Maybe, maybe not. How do you spell that name? I know a Raquel A who's Italian and spelled this way. Is that maybe how her name is spelled? I just mean I know someone personally, but I don't know if that's how this person's name is spelled. Uh, maybe I'll leave that blank for now. Uh, let's go back up to the top of the grid and just work through the crosses. Recovered from being knocked to the floor. Get up, is it as simple as that? Let's check the crosses. Relent. Go easy, maybe? Not sure. Where to find edible ants? Question mark. Question mark? Is there a question mark? Where to find edible ants? Hmm, I'm not sure. Choose, uh, the question mark means pun, some kind of punnery or wordplay is going on here. I'm not sure what word here is meant to be read in a punny way, though, which is what I was sort of struggling with. Anyway, let's, go, let's keep going. Choose as a running mate. Often, so especially in, in U.S. politics, they'll say, for instance, a presidential candidate will tap somebody to be their, their running mate. To, to run with them as vice president. And terminology is used often in that context. Card game with a spinoff called Dos. <laughs> I've never heard of the card game Dos, but it must be Uno. So for one and Dos for, for two, uh, there must be such a game. Win over looks like persuade to me. And here we have silly. Silly could be inane. Where to find edible ants, right? What is that? And then relent, uh, maybe not. Oh, give in. That's much better than go easy. Yeah, sorry. 
go easy doesn't necessarily mean relent. It just means don't go as hard. But to give in would actually be to relent. And what follows a plane going from Richmond to Chicago? Vapor vapor trail? This looks like there's a question mark indicating some sort of pun. And presumably this is a... Um, Presumably this is a um, pun. Well, it's a pun and also it's a theme answer is what I meant to say, because it's it's a longish answer. It's in the acrosses and it has circled cells in it, all of which suggest, all of which are sort of bits of evidence that suggest it's part of the puzzle's theme. And we have veil here. What follows a plane going from Richmond, Chicago? Veil, what? I mean, veil is a place... Is it in Colorado? I'm not sure what's going on here. Sorry, I'll have to keep solving the puzzle. Part of a wedding cake, a tier. You could have a, a multi-tiered wedding cake. And obtains through hard work is urns. Force an aircraft must overcome. Must overcome drag, I would think. Woman's, hidden, woman's name hidden inside assumed name. Right, the name Edna can be spelled out inside assumed name. Oh, sorry, and by that I mean the, the name Edna is literally spelled out inside the letters that comprise assumed name in that order. Word be after door or before polish. Well, door nail or nail polish would be a word that would fit that those criteria. Qualified, maybe able. You're qualified to do the job. You're able to do the job. And Arab Spring uprisings of the early 2010s, yes. And then tax filing status in the U.S. anyway, not in all countries, um, not in the U.K., but in the in the U.S. you can file as single or um, married jointly. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? Hmm. So Rachel Ray, so how do we spell, how do we spell this person's name? Uh... Oh, maybe it's like this. I've seen Rachel spelled this way. Is that it? Santa blank handicap. Sea biscuits last race. I don't know. Santa Anita, maybe. I don't. Uh, it's just a complete guess. Payment by many a factory worker. I don't. Maybe I should delete this. I'm just not sure. Payment by many a factory worker. Union dues, maybe? There we go. Small shaded valley could be a dale, perhaps? Word before or after age. Age old or old age. Those are both valid phrases. Many a charity for short. An NGO, a non-governmental organization. Oh, interesting. Here we have two A's in a row. That's sort of surprising. Part of a plane traveling from New Orleans to Little Rock. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I see. Sorry. So this is VA. This is an abbreviation for the state of Virginia. So Richmond, Virginia, going to Chicago, Illinois. So, ah, this is very clever. So the clue is something that is valid in terms of answering the, sorry, the answer answers the clue, what follows a plane in general sense, vapor trail but also going from Richmond, Virginia, to Chicago, Illinois. There we go. That's what's going on. And here the AR is the abbreviation for Arkansas, which is the state that contains the city of Little Rock. There we have it. Okay. So, uh, what is this? Part of a plane traveling from New Orleans. Maybe this, maybe Dale, is it correct? Uh, let's just keep solving and see what happens. Okay. Modern dance move. Modern dance move. I'm not the person to ask. <laughs> let's keep going. Be real. To be real is to exist, maybe? I'm not... Is that what it's saying? As in, not like a mythical creature, but 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 a real species? Okay, so this could be Santa Anita Handicap. I bet that's what it's going to be. I'm going to put it in. We'll just, we'll see. Maybe I'll put it in pencil. I never do that, but here's an opportunity to, to remind you that the pencil exists. You can see this tool in the upper right that looks like a pencil. You can enable it, and then you can type in, in a lighter shade in order to remind yourself that you're not certain of the answer. 
Okay, blank Adam. Not sure. What about this? Practice makes perfect or haste makes waste. An axiom. So saying a truism, that kind of thing. Boys in Bolivia. Boys in Bolivia. Niños uh, in Spanish. And then what makes clay clammy? <laughs> M's. We literally are adding M's to clay in order to create the word clammy, which has two M's. That's funny. Okay, share one's seat. Share one's seat. Hmm, just scoot over. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Ancient inhabitants of Crete. Minaeans? Um, I'm not sure. Probably ends in an S. Lip something. I'm not sure what that is either. It looks like a brand name with that dash. Um, ba, ba, ba. Ogle could be what to eye somebody to ogle them. Commotion informally is a melee or a fraca, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's let's look around. Oh, block that no longer includes Great Britain for short. That would be the EU. It's interesting that it says Great Britain rather than the United Kingdom because it is technically more accurate that it no longer includes the United Kingdom. You could argue that Northern Ireland, which is part of the UK, but not the island of Great Britain, is in some ways still aligned with the EU. But that is an extreme technicality, and I don't think that's what they meant. Uh, share with as a secret would be let in on, maybe? Ah, right. Oh, right. This isn't Dale. It's Adele. There we go. I think that's the word I was trying to think of. The small shaded valley uh, is Adele. Okay, to share with a secret is to let in on, to share with as a secret, let in on. I think that's probably right. Trite, not sure, and Honolulu hello would be aloha. Start of a warning. And modern dance move, ah, I'm not sure about this. Her name was blank, Copacabana lyric, Lola, her name was Lola. Um, begins the song Copacabana. And start of a warning, trite. Why can't I see what trite is? Commotion informally, oh, hoo-ha. Wasn't this in the puzzle? This was in the puzzle yesterday or the day before. That's so strange. I think it might have been yesterday. Uh, production company behind The Hunger Games and The Saw films. Oh, boy, I would not have, I would not have been able to jump to this without these crosses, but this is the perfect tee up to make me suspect it's Lionsgate, which is definitely a production company, you know, you see just sometimes at the beginning of movies, and it must be the one in question. Okay. Former airline from Denver to Birmingham. So Denver, Colorado, CO, and then, oh, Continental. Oops. Continental is a former airline that is now... Um, it was absorbed into United Airlines, and then United itself sort of adopted some of Continental's branding. So the United logo is now the former Continental logo, or at least it was at one point. I don't know if that's still true. Anyway, start of a warning. Oh, do not, as in do not enter, that sort of warning. And a modern dance move. Oh, is it a dab? Is that a dance? Is that considered a dance move? I didn't really know that in the context of dancing, I guess. So trite, yes, and trite is banal. So that that looks right. Something is trite, it's, it's banal. It's sort of done to death. It's not interesting. Okay, part of a plane traveling from New Orleans to Little Rock. Oh, land, this looks like landing gear, right? So we're going from New Orleans, Louisiana, L-A, to Little Rock, Arkansas, A-R. So that I is correct, no longer in pencil. I think Anita is probably correct. And then where to find edible ants? Oh, on a log? Oh, sorry, this is recovered, not recover from being knocked to the floor. That was my mistake entirely. So got up and then ants on a log. Is that because that's the sort of confection that's a, isn't there some sort of baked treat or something? It's something that ants on a, there's something like that. I think that must be what that's referring to. Uh, so this does look like Rachel spelled this way. Oh, the Hudson River, of course. And yeah, okay. 
So the Hudson River in New York in New York is what Albany and Poughkeepsie are on. So that makes sense. And then Anita, and maybe this is Minoans. What is this? Oh yeah, blank Adam, Lemmy Adam. And then share one's seat. Oh, I see. Share one's seat is to moon. So to to show your backside is to, to moon somebody. To share your seat. That's very clever. Okay. Ancient inhabitants of Crete. It looks like it is Minoans. And then like a recently coined word or phrase is a neologism. Oops. Maybe it's not. Uh, oh, but it says like. It doesn't say it is a recently coined word or phrase. It said it's like one. So, so what is the adjectival form of that? I'm not sure. What about this? Lip, oh, lip sync, or it's not a brand name. It's just a, it's a bit of lingo, essentially. Lip sync. Uh, there we go. H to Homer would be the letter eta in the Greek alphabet. Homer meaning the, the uh, Greek poet. And then Director Bergman would be Ingmar Bergman. I saw a film called Bergman Island recently and I enjoyed it. It was about sort of a couple who's kind of a filmmaking couple who's sort of sees themselves as living in the shadow of the great director Ingmar Bergman. Okay, if you can believe it. Uh, not sure. What about this? Mounts, Shasta, Rainier, and Hood. Well, these are all mountains on the west coast of the U.S. Uh, I'm not sure what, it's wa what it wants there. I'm sorry. Here we have drank noisily, glugged maybe, and secluded narrow valley. Oh, a glen that, that <laughs> goes with our, our dell, small shaded valley, and a secluded narrow valley. I like the distinction in those clues. Exxon overseas. Exxon overseas. I'm not sure what that wants. In addition, could be also. Oh, is it Esso? Or I didn't. I didn't know Esso and Exxon were related. Actually, not that I know all that much about the sort of corporate structures of various oil companies, but I did. But anyway, Esso is a, a brand name that derives from Standard Oil, which is no longer extant. Anyway, so midterm or final would be a test. They proceed com org and edu. So dot com dot org and dot edu are um, top level domains for website addresses. And then deputy on the Dukes of Hazard must be Enos. I've actually never seen any Dukes of Hazard thing, so I don't know this character. But it looks—it's a name, and it looks correct, so I suspect it's right. Okay, here's another theme clue: direction of air travel from Miami to uh, Bangor. So Miami, Florida. Which is, is it FL and then Bangor, Maine, MA or is it MI? I think it's MA. If you can believe it, I'm going to delete that because I'm not sure. What about this? Bosom Buddies, BFFs, best, best friends forever. And a grab bag could be an oleo, maybe, sort of a mixture of things. Classic Ravel composition. So Ravel. The composer is probably best known for uh, the composition Bolero, which you definitely you would recognize if you heard it. Suburb of Boston. Uh, hmm, not sure. I lived near Boston for about for a year or two, but I can't bring this to mind. Uh, Helsinki native. Oh, whoops! I spelled Olio wrong. Sorry. It would be a uh, a Finn, a resident of Finland, and suburb of. Boston, right, what is it? All My Blank, Arthur Miller play. All My Sons is a play by Arthur Miller. And bloodlines are veins, literal lines of blood in your body. And, oh, Mount Shasta Rainier and Hood are volcanoes. There we go. Okay. Right, of course. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. If you can believe it, no lies, I guess? Okay, so Maine is, is M-I. Oh, I'm right. I didn't look at the actual clue itself. Duration of air travel. Duration of air travel. I'm not sure what that... I'm not sure. Hmm, interesting. Uh, big crop in Iowa is corn. 
like a recently coined word or phrase, is Niala chick, maybe? Is that what is that the adjectival form, I guess? Oh, flying. Oh no, it's not M-I, it's M-E. Right. I knew <laughs> I knew uh Maine had had a sort of wasn't one of the more obvious things you'd think based on the way it's spelled. So it is M-E, but then what is this? If you can believe it. No less. Ah, right. Yes, I see. You could say, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I got 95% on the test, no less or something. That's a terrible example, but you know what I mean. Smidgens are iotas, small amounts of something. Who am I to question, you might ask. And Molson Coors Brewing Company. So that must, that's a, a, uh, I guess, a brewing conglomerate. And then in addition is two also, and flying time is the duration of air travel. And then suburb of Boston is Lynn. Oh, that sort of looks familiar now that I see it, but I wouldn't have gotten it on my own, which I didn't. There we go. All right. That was the Tuesday crossword. So full of United States geography, which I suppose is probably going to be, that'll be tricky for people who don't have a U.S. cultural context, but fortunately, you didn't technically need, you didn't need to be able to solve those in order to fill out the theme puzzles, because these were all fairly generic flying terms. So if you just ignore the second part of each of these clues, you could say, what follows a plane? A vapor trail. Part of a plane is landing gear. Well, this one, former airline continental, that actually, that has a, U, a bit of U.S. cultural context wrapped around these other bits of U.S. cultural context. So that one's a little bit tougher, but the former airline is continental. And then finally, duration of air travel is the flying time. And we don't have a revealer. There isn't really one particularly needed. Uh, and I think you could even sort of interpret, I, I don't think this was what was intended, but these sort of, these remind me of sort of the wingspan of an of a four engine aircraft. You could sort of imagine the, the two engines on each wing kind of positioned here on this, this long wingspan. This kind of looks like that to me, thematically appropriately. Anyway, um, definitely a bit tougher than yesterday's puzzle, I would say, the Monday puzzle. That makes sense. It's a Tuesday, but not brutally so. I think it was appropriate for a Tuesday. Let me know how you fared with this one, especially with the uh, geographic uh, thematic element. And so, yes, a nice debut puzzle from Trey Mendez. Well done to him. And now let's discuss some clues from yesterday's puzzle. And actually not just clues, because I think the first comment uh, I was going to read is about the constructor. Uh, this is just a little fact about, well, the two constructors. So uh, Jochen Bernikel started the LA Times crossword corner blog explaining the answer for each day's LA Times puzzle. She and her husband, Doug, are frequent contributors there. She goes by CC on that blog. That blog is my other crossword puzzle, Guilty Pleasure, the LA Times crossword uh, being in my daily newspaper. Uh, and that's from Long Way, to Tip Long Way to Tipperary, who I forgot to credit. So thank you, Long Way to Tipperary. No need for that uh, pleasure to be guilty, I would say. And thank you for the context. So these are um, these are uh, the constructors from yesterday, certainly uh, part of the broader crossword world, the cross world, I guess. And uh, let's see. So there was a little thread of discussion about Heidi Klum, who I was sort of, you know, vaguely familiar with as a name, but really couldn't tell you anything about. So Srinx32 says, Heidi Klum has worked as a model originally and is now a juror, juror on several casting shows. She seems to be a successful businesswoman. Uh, nevertheless, I mostly remember her being in the news for her relationship, now marriage, with the younger uh, Bill Collitz, although then Kathleen Quinn um, pointed out it was Tom Callitz, actually, in July 2019. And then Dragon Traces points out, as I've been trying to say now, uh, Klum is pronounced more like Klum than Klum. So sorry about that, and uh, try to remember that going forward. Uh, Dragon Traces says, I'm aware of Ms. Klum as a model of long standing in the 90s and as having been married to Seal, the musician, singer, songwriter. Uh, so that's interesting. I didn't know that. 
Uh, Kathleen Quinn then followed up to say, British singer-songwriter Seal and supermodel Heidi Klum became one of the world's hottest celebrity couples when they tied the knot in 2005, Klum's second marriage after Rick Pepino. However, after having three children together and adopting a fourth, the couple announced their separation in, 2020, in 2012 after almost seven years of marriage. And then she adds, Klum married Tom Cowlitz in July 2019. I have no idea <laughs> who Tom Cowlitz is. So anyway, and then the rest of... Uh, the clues were some fun comments about public transport system under uh, systems underground railways around the world. So I had asked, I had, to, to me the tube and the underground are both terms that I think of as being pretty specific to the system here in London, whereas metro and subway are used in many systems around the world. So I was curious if there are any other systems referred to as the underground or the tube and. Miss Charlesworth says, here in Glasgow, there is the subway system that was renamed the Glasgow Underground, but most people continued to call it the subway, so it was renamed back to Glasgow Subway. I was wondering about the Glasgow system, actually, so I'm glad somebody I'm glad somebody um, piped in about that. Sometimes in the media, it gets referred to as the clockwork orange, as it is a circular system and has an orange color scheme, but I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a local who actually calls it that. And uh, long way to Tipperary says, in Atlanta, it's called MARTA for the metropolitan area, metropolitan Atlanta rapid transit. Everybody says, I'll take MARTA. So uh, Michelle McBride Charpentier says, the underground seems unique to London. The term underground seems unique to London, but Germany and Austria have the closest with the U-Bahn, short for the Untergrundbahn, underground railway. I have taken the U-Bahn. Yes, that, that didn't occur to me, but I have, I have myself ridden that system. However... Uh, this this claim that underground seems unique to London is immediately contradicted by Alan Eton, who says the rapid transit system in Buenos Aires is also called the Buenos Aires Underground, and also the Subti from Subterraneo, Subterranean. The tube does seem to be unique to London, though. But then, that in turn was contradicted by Mason Pershing, who says, we say the tube, Tuben, in Stockholm. Our metro system is called uh, Tunnelbanen, and Metero is a free newspaper handed out in it. So there we go. I really enjoyed that system, that that, that sequence of uh, people declaring these terms unique to a particular place, and then someone else pointing out, well, we have that there as well. So there is at least one other underground and at least one other tube, arguably two other undergrounds, if you count the Untergrundbahn. So there we go. Really enjoyed reading through those. Thank you to everybody who commented. Sorry if I missed any. Those were the ones I, that I saw when I was uh, browsing through. And uh, that'll be that for today's video, for today's puzzle. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll be back tomorrow, of course, for the Wednesday crossword. Maybe a little bit of a step up in difficulty. And, and that's that, I suppose. So do join me for the Wednesday crossword. And until then, do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.